Hi! In front of you, you can see an example of an application that we're going to make using the Entity Framework. Now, in a previous edition of this application, we created a version that lets you search and we can display all the items in the database. And we wrote all of the SQL statements. And so we had select statements and delete statements and insert statements. But in this version, we're going to use the Entity Framework, which will shorten the code quite a bit, and we will still hopefully get the same results. So let's get started with a new project. If you haven't seen the previous videos on how to build this application, go look on the playlist to see if you can find the uh, first edition of this. We're going to build on what we created in that video. So I'm going to start a new project here. So I'm going to click the Create New Project button in Visual Studio. I'm going to search for the ASP.NET web application using the .NET framework. I'm going to name my new project as James Bond Gadgets and put the word entity in it so I know that it's using the entity framework. Now on the next screen I'm going to change one item here. I'm going to enable authentication. The previous version that we created had no authentication and now we're going to change it. So the standard authentication that we usually create in an application is individual users accounts. The others are for more corporate environments. But individual user looks like it'll work fine. So I'm going to click OK. Now once we have the authentication listed there, we're going to choose the make sure that MVC is selected and choose create. So it looks like my application was created. If you can't see the database, let's go to the view menu and choose, um, what's it called? Uh, SQL Server Object Explorer and you can see that we created databases in previous editions. Now let's run this application to see if it looks like it looks anything like we had before. So the new application is up and running. And you can see that we have the home page, the about page, the contact page. So this is the three pages that are given to us in the MVC format. So they are uh, demos and examples that we can follow. Also on the right here, we have two new uh, formats here, or two new pages. So I have a login page, which allows me to obviously log in. And if I don't have a login, I can register as a new user. So let's uh, start here with the controllers. You can see that we have three different controllers. Let's go look at the models. We have uh, something new here called the identity model. And this is going to help us with this entity framework. Let's go check out the views. You can see that we have a, uh, the usual home, so those three, and let's go to manage. We can have different things here that we didn't have before, such as set password, verify your phone number, and so all of these came from our uh, authentication part. Now I'm going to go back to our previous project and copy some things that we had created in there. So I'm going to the file explorer, and I'm in my uh, repos folder, that's where I save all my projects. And I'm going to choose this one here called the Bond Gadget Collection. Let's see what's in there. So this here is the project that we did in a previous video. If you don't have this, you obviously need to go back and finish that first. So let's look, start with the controllers. So you can see that we have a gadgets controller. So I'm going to copy that. And uh, then we're going to go into the controllers page here and right click and paste it. So now let's go in to check out the gadgets controller and see if the namespace is correct. It is not. So you can see that in the previous edition of this program it said Bond Gadget Collection. So let's delete that and uh, put in our new one. So the uh, name of the project now is James Bond Gadget Entity. And up here it looks to me like we need to delete these two. They're wrong. So now our uh, gadget model is no longer valid. We're going to have to copy that in as well. So let's go back and find the next folder here. So let's go into Models. And there is the gadget model. So I think I can also just drag this into the models folder and I get the same effect. Let's go check the namespace on gadget model. And it looks like we need to change that. Let's go look at the views. So in the previous edition of this program we had an entire folder full of uh, views called gadgets. So I'm going to just drag the gadgets into the views folder. And let's see what's inside gadgets now. 
So gadgets had uh, four different views. Let's go and modify the namespace on each of these. So I'm opening up the details, and if we look at the top, you can see that there's a problem with the uh, model, it says here. So let's go to get the proper project name. This looks like it's working again. We'll close that. Let's go look at the gadget form, do the same thing. So for each of these views, I'm just going to make sure that the model is finding the proper pathway to get to the model. Okay, let's go back and look at the controller. It probably needs a few updates as well. So let's go to gadget controller. And now when we see the gadget model and show potential fixes, sure enough, sure enough it shows that we can import from the models folder. All right, so the uh, imports seem to be done correctly. Now, we are not going to import this uh, project here, the gadget DAO. The whole point of the lesson is that we are going to use the entity framework rather than the uh, database access object like we had before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete the uh, code that's in each of our sections, each of the uh, methods, and then I'm going to leave that for our homework to fix for the rest of this video series here. So I am getting the regular database object out of the way. Okay, so those are all gone now. And now it's time to update our database and show you how Entity Framework is functioning. So we'll do that in the next video.